वेलकम बैक टू एस पी डब्ल्यू पी एच वाई चोर आई एम एम भवानी स्टडिंग सेकेंड बी एस सी एम पी सी एस इन एस पी डब्ल्यू डिग्री कॉलेज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ए न्यू एक्सपेरिमेंट स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ लिक्विड यूजिंग जॉल्स फिलोरोमीटर स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ लिक्विड कैन बी एक्सपेरिमेंटल प्रूव विद टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वन इज जॉल्स फिलोरोमीटर एंड अनदर वन इज न्यूट्रल स्टाफ कूलिंग टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ लिक्विड यूजिंग जॉल्स फिलोरोमीटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नो दैट वॉट इज स्पेसिफिक हीट Mm. The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one unit mass of uh, liquid, one unit mass of liquid by increasing one Kelvin. It is called specific heat. Specific heat of liquid by using Joule's calorimeter. Joule's calorimeter it helps. Uh, it cannot emit any heat and uh, absorbs any heat from the surroundings. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, we want apparatus. like joule square meter and battery eliminator plug the key uh, rheostat ammeter voltmeter and the transmission operators battery eliminator rheostat ammeter voltmeter thermometer joule square meter and the stand and also plug the key uh, battery eliminator to calorimeter connection and the calorimeter has the s1 and s2 keys uh, when s1 to to voltmeter positive we are connected and voltmeter negative to the s2 and also s2 to the ammeter ammeter voltmeter are connected in the series voltmeter and the calorimeter are connected in the parallel connection okay ammeter negative to the rheostat in downwards and rheostat upwards to the key and key to the battery eliminator when switch on the battery eliminator it runs up we can adjust the current with the help of the rheostat it shows readings when switch on the battery eliminator the current passes through the calorimeter and how much amount of heat can be transported and current can be can transported into the calorimeter we can easily with the help of ammeter and the voltage voltmeter if we adjust the rheostat uh, the deflection shows in ammeter and the voltmeter we find the con we set the constant voltage and the ammeter with the help of rheostat i want to set the voltage at 5 uh, volts and ammeter at the 2.2 okay when we adjust when we adjust the rheostat it shows the deflections in the ammeter and the voltage see this uh, okay voltage uh, fixed at uh, 5 volts and current fixed at the 1.8 amperes when current passes into the joule scalar meter it shows rising in temperature in a thermometer okay uh, we note the let uh, take the stop clock and starts um, it shows rising in temperature from 30 to 30.1 and the increasing in the time temperature and also timing sir note the values from 30 to the 30.5 okay when switch off the battery eliminator it is decreasing in the temperature from 35.2 to the 30 degree 34.5 34.5 degrees and increasing in the time uh, it shows the ammeter ampere current in the ampere zero and the voltage zero it switch off sir after uh, taking the values we noted in the table uh, like this in the table okay after taking a graph we take the values from the table and floated in the graph take the temperature time on x seconds in x axis and temperature in degree celsius in y axis after floating the values in the graph the curve like this from taking 38 degrees to 33 degree 28 degrees to 33 degrees the temperature will be rising and the time also increasing while when switch off the battery eliminator 
decreasing in the temperature and plotted the values like this um, at the point 33 degrees it is highest point we make the straight line and the area of a b calculated and the area of the b also calculated the distance between f will be greater than 1.5 after finally delta t b calculated with the help of the graph we take the delta theta value from the graph to find the delta theta 2 value theta 2 value find with the help of delta theta and theta 3 theta 3 the, be the highest temperature in the graph hmm. this is a formula for joule calorimeter hmm. this is the voltage from we find in voltmeter current in the ammeter time taken from the seconds and joules constant is the 4.1 gram per degree celsius sum w1 weight of the calorimeter with stirrer we already find that and s means specific heat of the calorimeter 0.09 and w2 be the weight of the water and we already know w1 we, we find this specific heat of liquid and theta will be is the initial temperature and theta will be fine with the help of the graph okay from the formula, we finally find the specific heat of liquid using Joule's calorimeter and the precautions. Uh, old precautions, voltmeter and the calorimeter connected in parallel, ammeter and the voltmeter are connected in the series. Finally, result is specific heat of liquid can be determined by the Joule's calorimeter. Thank you friends. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.